Alright, so we're checking out the only game that shows us once again that space is so cool that you can have fun doing nothing but dumb shit in it. It's Space Engine. Space Engine is one of the coolest space games ever made because someone was a complete masochist and created a universe to scale planetarium. Effectively, you can go in and go anywhere and see anything and do whatever the hell you want and cause things to happen and it's glorious. Here's some auroras and a slowly moving planet with rings in the background. What does it mean? It doesn't matter. It's awesome. It's space. Continue game, damn it. I have absolutely no idea where I am. <laughs> And it really doesn't matter because again, this is what you came here for. Now, obviously, just like any person who has access to limitless space, one of the things we're going to have to do is jump into a black hole. I don't know why, but everyone who loves space eventually wants to go into a black hole. Regardless of where you are, you can do anything you want. On this planet, you can fly around and look at the topography. If a game was ever coded to just be space sex, this would basically be it. There is no limitations in the game. Welcome everyone to another planet. This planet is very icy and the system has six freaking stars in it. I just wanted to come here to kind of show everyone how ridiculous things are. Back away from the planet like this, go a little bit faster. And uh, yeah, if you just keep going, pretty soon you're off of the planet and you're in space. Apparently, this planet has a ring on it, too. I almost missed it. It's right here. It's trying to hide it in its friggin' pocket. The planet's also probably concealing guns and drugs. Anything that you see, you can travel to because the level of developmental horror the developer was prepared to obtain knows no boundaries. So if you want to click on something, whatever the hell this is, apparently it's a blue bright giant. You can do the clicky button and then, like space balls a la the 1980s, you can fly through space and eventually end up at whatever this is. Holy Jesus, there it is. I feel like landing on a sun is the other thing that everyone eventually has to do. Like pretty much if you are on a space game, you will inevitably have to land on the surface of the sun. I don't really have much to say here about it other than it's really bright and somewhat ripply. I turned the brightness down so that we could see what the hell the sun surface looks like. It looks a lot like professional pavers. I'm not sure if someone does landscaping on this sun or what. Other than that, from way up here, it's just really lumpy. I learned in the tutorial that the suns are lumpy because the gravity is struggling to hold in the goo. You know that big ass canyon on Mars? There it is. If you want to go into it, you can fly down in there. Because why not? While you're doing your, uh, your Star Wars canyon run over here, you can also speed up time so that you can see the sun set over here on Mars. Like so. And then you can reverse time if you want to watch the sun rise. It's kind of like the clapper. Say so you can clap on, clap off. One of the things I had to do was go over here to Earth so I could see if Florida was accurately represented. Let us go to my hometown at like Mach 30. It's a beautiful beach sunset. I'm not gonna lie though, there is some limitations here because uh, right around over here, there should be uh, like an old Ford up on blocks, maybe a refrigerator out by the roadway. There's no street sign because it got lost in the last hurricane and no one ever replaced it. The thing that saddens me the most is the complete lack of any Florida man. I think that they should be inside this game. Just to have them fighting right out here by the beach. It's usually like two guys trying to stab each other with a 40 day old cannoli over the last Keystone light or something. Hold on, I want a sunset over here by the beach. I gotta screw with time and space real quick. There we go. Perfect. You can do this mode too so that you're not freaking blinded by the sun when you're looking at it. Welcome everyone to SS433B. It's a black hole. At least that's what the type says. It really doesn't matter because it looks friggin' awesome. Black holes are one of those things that you want to move a long time really slowly. Because if you go any faster, it will give you epileptic seizures. Let me give you an example. This right here is the normal time scale. No. Right about there. That's hot. The game supposedly can like manipulate luminosity and stuff too so that we as human beings actually get to see the cool parts of space because if it didn't do it, it would look like this and you can't see what the hell is happening here. <laughs> just kind of watching the black hole move through space just to see what it looks like. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and slow it, slow it down here. I don't really know what happens. I imagine 
because it's infinite. Once you get inside, you're screwed. You should never be able to get out the other side, right? Oh, okay, maybe you can. That's amazing. I think we just crossed the event horizon on the other side. I'm not really sure what the hell I'm looking at right now. It's like pulsating gelatinous goo, but uh, hey, I've never been in a black hole before, so maybe that's how it goes. I'm sure there's some sort of scientific name for all this. I'm just a schmuck that likes space. I didn't really do that great in science. So there you go. Still moving, not really sure where we are right now inside the black hole. Uh, gravity's infinite, so, you know, that's the thing. Tidal forces aren't that bad, comparatively, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and move us a little bit faster here, just to see where the hell are we going. I think we made it through because I'm starting to, I'm starting to see space now. At least I believe so. Kind of just keep moving us through here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, sweet Jesus. What the hell is all this? Okay, so this is kind of like the surface of the black hole looking out into space. I think it says we're like 45 kilometers from the center of the black hole. And it's, a, it's a tiny black hole. Okay, it's not it's not that big in comparison. Temperatures, you know, 50,000 K. I'm kind of curious what happens to time in here. So I'm moving time along just to see what's occurring outside of the black hole. I don't know what that is. It's something ninjing across the screen. I'm not really sure. Oh, I think that's the sun that's nearby. And we get to see all of its I, radiation blasting off of it. I don't know. It just looks like it's powering up, but that's fine. I don't care what its energy level is. It looks amazing. <laughs> it's getting all stretched inside of here. Okay. That's friggin' sweet. <laughs> I think I managed to catch it just on the, whatever you want to call it, like the surface of the event horizon. Is my lack of terminology. And just be amazed at everything that the universe has to offer, including whatever the hell is happening here. Okay, now I think I'm completely inside because now it's just total darkness and it doesn't matter where I rotate, it's just darkness. Oh, there it is, it's a white super giant. All right, you're gonna have to let me know what's cooler, A, or B, A, okay, now I can't see anything. There we go. Welcome everyone to the thing that helps the Milky Way not suck. It's Sagittarius A. I appreciate that Sagittarius A doesn't pulsate as much as the other black hole. It's kind of cool too how you can watch it manipulate the Milky Way galaxy by moving time super fast. It's currently uh, 2470. Obviously it's going to be time to go inside of Sagittarius A. This is consensual though. Sagittarius A is totally fine with this, so there's, there's no big deal. Not really expecting too much different, I don't think. All right, it's a little bit brighter inside here. Not 100% sure why, Never mind. there goes the darkness. Okay, I think I just exploded out the other end because suddenly there was a giant shot of light. There it is. This is what the light looks like with the other photo mode on so you can see all of space bending around us. Not gonna lie, bent space is pretty cool space. They're coming out of the black hole here, back into space. Space folding in around us. And after I get our speed, you know, <laughs> 4.22 AU a friggin' second, we are out. While I observe this star that I randomly chose, we gotta find some more black holes to check out. Uh, oh, a neutron star. Hold on a damn minute. Uh, yeah. So here's a neutron star. Pretty awesome. Right at about that many thousand kilometers, everything kind of starts to fold and really bubble up. You know, might as well land on the surface of it. No reason not to, after all. Doing the doing it to damn near everything else we visit. So I mean, you know, it's only that many Kelvin. <laughs> so real quick, if someone could uh, maybe explain part of this here. Uh, is it just me or is time moving like super fast outside of the star? Because time's moving very normal here. Yeah, see, this is one tenth normal time, and that's how fast everything outside of this is moving right now. There's actually planets surrounding this thing. You can actually go to any one of them and see what the hell's up. There's something I want to try real quick, but before I do, I have to move time along because when the moon is all crescenty like that, it really kind of sucks. I want a full moon. Luckily, thanks to space god powers, we can do that. There we go. Perfect. 
Just like in Universe Sandbox. You can change the size of damn near anything. Of course, too big and it turns into a gas giant or whatever. Too small and it turns into a little star. So this is what the Earth would look like if its radius was this. The moon in the sky from Earth sucks. I've always wanted to be able to do this. I'm gonna make the moon much, much bigger. Bigger. <laughs> Okay, now the moon's starting to look like all the pictures that you see, where the moon is like this massive thing. Hold on, let's make this a little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay. If you stretch the moon, it messes with how much light it gives off. That's kind of cool. So if you want to put the moon on slim fast, and then do this, you'll actually turn off most of the moon's reflection. Oh. You can also rotate the moon in any way you want. There, I just put life on the moon. I don't know what it means, but I did it. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell I- There it is! I was gonna say part of the moon wasn't rendering in! It's kinda cool watching the star go across the sky and warp everything around it as you can speed up and slow down time and stuff. Okay, we're inside of a really, really big black hole now. The other black holes were scrub black holes compared to this. Rookie numbers, okay? This is the big ass black hole. Because it's so big, you really got to make time move along to be able to see the rings move. That's right, though. We're going back into the heart of it. And we should be coming out the other side here in just a second. It takes a really long time to come out because it's a big-ass black hole. There we go. I just saw the Andromeda galaxy in the distance, so I figured what the hell. I just wanted to see what it looks like. Oh. You can legitimately just go inside of the Andromeda Galaxy. I feel like this is almost illegal. The Andromeda Galaxy did not give us consent. Just chilling out by this planet that apparently has life on it. No real reason, just because it looks awesome. I'm not sure who the hell's living there. It's 105 degrees Celsius. It's gotta be someone from Florida. I mean, I guess we could go check real quick. Hold on, let me get down here. It's just miles and miles of Kevin Costner-styled water world. What does it look like without the water? Looks like this. Very rocky. Looks like that fancy flooring that you get next to your jacuzzi. Oh, these seas are two kilometers deep. So we got to fly inside of, out of, around, and damn near all up inside black holes. We penetrated so many black holes. I don't even know, man. I feel like we may have committed some sort of demonetization YouTube crime or something like that. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Space Engine. This freaking game's amazing. Till next time. Stay foxy and much love.